the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. You know, the geek is getting kind of to be in again. It's not so bad. Geek chic. Yeah, geek chic. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name's Eva Solberger. We are here in the old Borders building on Upper Church Street in downtown Burlington for Vermont Tech Jam 2011. Fifth Vermont Tech Jam. It's organized by Seven Days, Lake Champlain Regional Chamber of Commerce, the Department of Labor, and the Vermont Software Developers Alliance. It's the biggest one we've ever had. We've got 82 exhibitors, companies from all over Vermont. Most of them are hiring. Lots of people hiring here today. I am so I am so amazed by this. I've been at IBM for 30 years, and you know I always think about us being the only high tech. It's kind of nice to get out here. I mean, you see all the cool stuff. I mean, biotech and software and hardware and cars and I'm just like totally blown away with it. I think sometimes people think there's, you know, maybe not a big tech scene in Vermont and that's just not true. We can see that here today at the Tech Jam. There's a lot of interesting companies and booths here that I didn't even know of. There are some people here that are doing some really, really, really great things with technology. I love how awesome this whole field trip is. It's like awesome to see everything, all science -y. I'm so much about trying to make technology fun for people and, and, and you know, get people to go into the fields. It's amazing to see how vibrant the, the high-tech community is here. I mean, I didn't know we had half of these, you know, people that were here, these companies. And, you know, I didn't know they were doing stuff like this and it's just pretty cool to get out and see what everybody's doing. There's a lot of opportunities tech jobs in Vermont, especially alternative energy ones. This event is really interesting for us. We've never done it before. And we're a, a brand that has a worldwide presence, and we're discovering other people around here that are in the same situation. We don't know each other. We don't, we've never met before. So it's been great to walk around and connect with these people that are our neighbors that have this worldwide presence we didn't even know about. It's so great to see uh, such a variety of people from all different demographics coming out. You no, know, just like meeting everybody here has been really cool. I've run into a bunch of people that I went to school with around the area and it's just cool seeing what they're doing now. This Tech Jam thingy is really cool and we should make it like bigger and more uh, trinkets because those are fun. Also communicates with all of our equipment too. Yeah, <laughs> fully adjustable. <laughs> you know, I think Dealer.com is unique in that we have that kind of startup feel, and we have a really neat culture. It's just such a, a different environment, I think, than people expect to find here in Vermont. Our brand thesis is, you know, mixing the old and the new, and evolving as a whole for brands. Well, basically, yeah. we're creating a community hack space. Yep. You want to build something, you want to make something, you want to learn how to do something. We're asking people today, technology will allow me to. What do you think technology is going to allow you to do in the future? We've been around for 
I guess about 16 years making custom antibodies. Our company is Sky Research and the focus is detection of unexploded ordnance. This particular car is powered by a 250cc internal combustion gasoline engine in combination with an AC induction motor. So it's a fuel electric hybrid car. This is a formula hybrid competition. It's alternative energy and Vermont is probably one of the greatest places we could be for that. We are Pocket Wizard. Uh, LPA Design, we're a South Burlington company. We make radio controls for photographers. I want one of those jobs where you don't have to set your watch to it. I was thinking actually majoring in computer science or information technology. The possibility of working with computers is great. Video game maker? I'm planning to just be a practicing doctor, probably specialize in viruses and epidemics. I'm looking at gaming and application development, but hopefully stay in Vermont. Like That's my ultimate goal. I think it's pretty cool, everything that you can do, like programming and stuff. Well, I look at them as proto-adults. I look at them as all future inventors. These people get it. They got to focus in school on math and science, technology, engineering. That's the jobs of the future. The kids had a ball today. Oh, my goodness. Well, they had over 350 kids here today from middle school and high school. Kids from as far as uh, Lindenville, St. Johnsbury, Holtney, Northfield, Hyde Park, and all over Chittenden County. The kids definitely seem very interested, asked some great questions. What kind of classes do I need to take in order to do what your company is offering? And I said, well, first of all, let me just tell you that you don't need to leave Vermont in order to have a great, cool job. That's what this fair is all about, is showing kids that Vermont really does have a lot of cool technological things going on. I actually am planning to go to college here and stay here. I love Vermont, and Vermont does need some more people to stay here. Absolutely. Yep, we've hired a ton of Vermonters. I would say most of our hires are Vermonters. I'm a Vermonter. Hire a lot locally, and we're growing. We're, we have a little green dot to show that we're hiring. So, <laughs> When you think about Vermont, you know, it's like this whole Yankee ingenuity. There's so many inventive people kind of out in the hills. It's really cool kind of seeing it manifest here. Thanks for joining us for Tech Jam 2011. We'll see you next year, and we'll get to talk about you again real soon. Hello. Wait, I thought Seven Days was a print magazine. You know what? I think the most important thing is to make something cool. Start working with your own hands. Even if, you know, when I say that, it, maybe your thing is software, maybe it's math, but making things kind of tunes your skills. It helps you figure out what you like and it gives you something to show. Do it. Just go make something cool. Make something cool. Make something cool.